Hi everybody. Welcome to another one of my Future Creator Signatures series. Francis McInerney here from Morthra Adventures. This is called Don't Promise What You Can't Deliver and it's what happens when a company starts getting out ahead of itself with extravagant sales projections which won't ever reach reality. This is the story of Panasonic's recent sales projections. I'm going to show this story to you in two simple slides. It's what happens when you make a public announcement that you're going to increase sales something like 35 percent in four years but your operating fundamentals and your ecosystem velocity will not allow you to do that two slides it's the whole story and let's go to the first one put simply what we see here is a situation that just won't scale because it can't scale uh, in the middle of this slide you see the reforms of kirk nakamura former ceo whom i was uh, privileged to work with during those years and these lightened the balance sheet significantly by about $7.7 .7 billion by driving down both days of sales in inventory and days of sales in accounts receivable. And you can see here where we believe that scalability would kick in, numbers that are significantly lower than they are today. Now the problem is that if you come along with a big sales projection with uh, operating fundamentals like this, those sales will not stick because they can't stick. When you have numbers as bad as these ones appear to be, what you have is a model that leaks value just about everywhere. And let me show you why and what happens. Here you see the same chart works somewhat differently. This is the company's ecosystem velocity. Now, if it was able to accelerate its ecosystem velocity to the target that we set for it, shown here in this slide, you would add, and let me note, you would add without adding a single new product or an extra cent in sales, 12.7 billion in operating profit. You'd lighten the balance sheet by another 10 and a half billion dollars. You'd push R&D coverage from a really pathetic 0.27, which indicates that the company is losing money for every yen it spends on R&D, to 3.9, really good healthy range, and that was the range that uh, Panasonic actually had in 1972. You would add in addition everyone's benefit, $74 billion in market capitalization. And let me emphasize again, without adding a single new product or an extra yen in sales. So this business model has an ecosystem that is so leaky, value is coming out of it just about everywhere. There is no way you could push something like this up 35% in sales in four short years. Or put another way around, you might, but you'd probably crash the business in trying to do so. Now, I've been future-proofing companies since 1976. I know up from down. Uh, I know what'll work and I know what won't. Uh, I've seen these things many times before. Uh, mistakes like this are very common in business. So to make sure that your business model doesn't reach its sell-by date, contact me. We'll work together future-proofing your business model. My email address is here. We'll talk soon. Thank you very much.